Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal Informal. This tutorial is going to be on how to make a double ruffle neckline accessory. You can wear this accessory multiple ways and give it a different look. So here's the list of ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to pause and review the list. First, you're going to cut the panel at 8 inches in width. And then you're going to cut the second panel at 6 inches in width. So now you should have two panels cut. You are now going to stitch the ends together. You can use a basic straight stitch, but if you would like to learn how to sew a French seam, please press pause and click on the image. Now you're going to take the smaller panel and tuck it inside the large panel. You are going to align the seams, however, they will be facing in opposite directions. This is to avoid bulk when you are stitching the seam line. You are going to sew them together by sewing along the edge of the panels. Next, you are going to trim down the seam to 1 8 of an inch and cut it all the way around the panels. And now you're going to take the smaller panel from the bottom and bring it over and lay it on top of the larger panel. And now you're going to stitch it all the way around, but make sure you leave about an inch opening. Also, make sure the width is a little bit wider than the elastic band you will be using. Now iron press the seams. To get the length that you will need for the elastic band, take a measurement of your upper chest and then cut it at the measured length. For example, mine is 34 inches. Now you're just going to take the safety pin and pin one end of the elastic band. You're going to open up the panels and then find the opening. Next, take the safety pin and pull the elastic band through the seam width. And once you get to the end, be careful not to pull the elastic band all the way through where you will lose it in the seam. Now make a zigzag stitch and secure the elastic bands together. Now for the final step, all you have to do is stitch the opening closed. And you are complete. You can wear this accessory in multiple ways with a strapless gown. Or if this is too plain for you, you can add a decorative trim to the ruffles. Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal Informal. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make the birdcage headband or the bridal clutch, please click on one of the images. If you would like to learn how to make a bridal veil or a bolero, please click on one of the glitter buttons.